It doesn't matter if you are the CEO of the biggest company. At some point, everyone does something menial. Mm. It's not all glamour and golf. Frank, what have you learned from Alec? Patience. Uh -oh. Uh, honestly, it's, it's been fun. It's been a fun ride because for the past three years, I haven't been in a corporate environment. I've been, as I say, you know, coming here is about the closest I get to actual interaction from a face-to-face -face basis. So uh, it is enjoyable having somebody around that I can bounce ideas off of and, and share misery with. Like, isn't it fun to be on hold for like an hour and a half? Yeah, it's not fun at all. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. So all day long, it's like, you know, what do you do? I sit on hold. You know, you, you get used to hearing something in the background while you're sitting listening to hold music. And you'd be surprised at how, how much time that that takes. And that's what, you know, that's the pain that I take from my clients is fixing things that someone's going to eventually have to do. And what I've enjoyed watching uh, Alec work on are the trivial, menial things that he does. And not just because it brings me enjoyment to watch him suffer, but also <laughs> because realistically speaking, he's seeing that regardless of what we're doing at the time, what you're doing affects what someone else is doing nearby you. Right. So if you're on the phone and the shredder, you know, there's a big pile of junk that you really are in the middle of shredding. Maybe you shouldn't shred while you're on the phone. Right. But it's things that you don't think about until you, you actually have that happen. And the same thing with like the shredding in general, like who wants to do that? That sucks. Like how much money are you making? It, it's, it's not like you're working in a warehouse facility. Not mm -hmm. that there's anything wrong with that because actually my favorite jobs were working as a Kelly temp doing silly things like that. But legitimately, like if you're billing at a high, you know, super hundred dollar an hour type of job yeah, and you have a pile of stuff in the corner that needs to be shredded, you're still going to have to shred it. Yeah. You know, someone's mm -hmm. got to do it. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter if you are the CEO of the biggest company. At some point, everyone does something menial. Mm. It's not all glamour and golf. Right? Yeah. That's why I realized two of the summer is like, you know, you're very well off. It's just. Yeah, you still got to do the dirty work, shred the stuff, like be on hold for four hours, figure out a problem that probably is not worth your time, but you still got to do it. So that's like definitely been a big thing I learned too is like no matter where you are in life, you still got to do like the boring stuff that no one wants to do unless you get someone to do it for you. Hey, thanks for watching The Merge. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.